Well, if you own a phone, you know, scams are on the rise, whether it's through phone calls or text messages. So how do you stop them all? We've got Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley here. Can we call you coming to the rescue? I, I can't tell you how many text messages come through and I block every single one of them and yet they never stop. Yeah, Kiko, uh, I actually have a few examples here uh, of some of the texts that I've seen uh, that have come through uh, as far as the, the spam. Uh, some of them have uh, been asking uh, me to uh, pay taxes on a delivery that I never ordered. Um, we have this one here uh, asking or saying that my confirmation of my shipment, no idea what that is. Uh, this is my, I did not order a Dyson. Um, I wish I could order a Dyson. Uh, but also that I owe tax on it for some reason. And then another that I had uh, recently received, uh, you can see here, this was uh, uh, talking about some kind of supplement that, for confusingly enough, uh, would enhance our sluggishness. Uh, don't necessarily know why I want to uh, enhance my sluggishness, but sure. So that's the, the kind of text messages that I know a lot of people are receiving. Now, just to give you an idea, this isn't just a nuisance either. It's also an issue as far as fraud goes. In fact, uh, according to the FTC, these kinds of spam, uh, tech spam, uh, have been reported uh, as much as, let's see here, uh, 377,000 times in 2021. Uh, it cost tax uh, victims uh, $131 million. And that's actually up from the $86 million it cost people in 2020. So this is an increasing problem. Uh, and you know, just as you said uh, yourself, Kiko, you've seen these kinds of text messages as well. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to identify them and then kind of fight back. So quick uh, way to identify them is, if you're like me, uh, I'm, I think you are, uh, you likely have every contact that you have saved in your phone already. So that when you get a, a phone call, caller ID pops up, and there you go. Or you get a text message, caller ID pops up, and it's from someone you know. If you get a text from someone you don't know, uh, and you're not expecting a text from someone, uh, then just delete it, ignore it. Uh, you know, you can also look at the text uh, itself, and if it's for a delivery, you know, and you're waiting for a delivery from, say, Amazon or something, it says that your delivery has been held up, go to your Amazon app or the Amazon website and look there. Do not click on the link in any of these text messages. A lot of times what these text message links are is to a website that's trying to steal your information. Uh, sometimes uh, they could be trying to install some other app on your phone uh, or trying to uh, make you take a survey or pay for something uh, that you otherwise wouldn't want to pay for. So those are some of the quick ways to really identify them. Another is you know, just throwing this out there because it's tax season. Uh, if something says that it's from the IRS, it is not. The IRS does not contact you via phone, let alone text message. Could you imagine that? Uh, they send you regular old, regular old snail mail. So uh, if it's from the IRS or set, claims it's from the IRS, it's not. It's just a scammer. Uh, the ways that you can fight back, though, uh, there are some things you can do, including, uh, as you've said, blocking the numbers. Uh, you can also just straight up delete them. But they do get tiring. So there are some spam apps, anti-spam apps that you can get from carriers. Uh, you can call them up, you can speak to them, or there are uh, some free apps that you can download from uh, the uh, Apple App Store or the Google Play Store to get, and they will help root out some of the spam text that you will get. Now, uh, Apple and Google have both introduced ways to block or uh, proactively block uh, mm -hmm. spam calls. Uh, a lot of carriers have been doing that as well, but I think really going forward, uh, the best thing to do is block those numbers, uh, and then if you can't, uh, then straight up ignore them because otherwise they're going to try to steal your money. Yeah, no, Dan, I was actually trying to follow your directions right now because I keep getting these text messages from someone named Akiko Fujita, like, hey, I got to block all of these. So thanks so much, <laughs> oh, Dan Howley. Appreciate you it. You haven't uh, we'll have on your favorites, bro. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, all right. We'll have more on Yahoo Finance right after this break.